Okay, let's let's have a look here. So he is six feet tall and cast a shadow X. I can know I can know this position I can know this position so I can calculate this position this coordinate here would be 10 plus 3t height is 6 and this one here is 0 10 so the 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 slope 10 minus 10 minus 6 over minus 10 minus 3t. So that's minus 4 over 10 plus 3t. So this line will be y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Um, that's for this line and we want to find this point here so that's when y is zero so we'll get minus 10 equals minus 4x over 10 plus 3t that x is not the same as that x though and that would be the x would be from here to here so maybe i should capitalize it to not confuse it uh, okay, so that would be minus 10 times 10, that's 100, minus 30t equals minus 4x, so x would equal 25 plus 7.5t, but that x uh, is 10 plus x. So x will be 15 plus 7.5t. So that means the x dt will be 7.5 feet per second. Um, How is this different? Using the previous problem, at what rate is the tip of the shadow moves away from the person when the person is 10 feet from the pole? How, how is that not the same? A six foot tall person walks away from a 10 foot lamppost at a constant rate of three. What is the rate that the tip of the shadow moves away from the pole when the person is 10 feet away from the pole? Using the previous problem, what is the rate at which the tip of the shadow moves away from the person when the person is 10 feet from the pole. Oh, that's, hang on, that moves away from the pole, whereas this is, moves away from the person. Mm. Interesting, interesting. Uh, that's interesting, okay. Moves away from the person. So, this x here, yeah, um, he's moving at three feet per second. So I'd imagine it's just, it's just going to be the subtraction of the two, I would hope. So that would be Maybe I shouldn't have caught this x dot because it's from the pole. So maybe x might not have been the best letter here. Like I should have called something like um, d. That might have been better. Because 
because the next one is really the x. Uh, 4.5 feet per second. Uh, yeah, I think that looks a bit better. Oh, let's see. Man, I hope it's right. Four and a half feet. Success. Okay, great. Twelve. A five foot tall person walks towards a wall at a rate of two feet per second. There shouldn't be a, a new line there. Should be a non-breaking space between the two and the feet per second. The spotlight is located on the ground. Oh, okay. A five foot tall person walks towards a wall at a rate of two feet per second. A spotlight is located on the ground 40 feet from the wall. Ah. Uh, how fast does the height of the person shot on the wall change? Okay. So there's a person here. And he is walking to the right at two um, two feet per second. A spotlight is located 40 feet from the wall. The person is five foot tall. And this is a 10 here. And uh, it's going to shine there. Okay. So... I think I can do this in a very similar way. Um, this point here is fixed at minus 40, 0. This point here um, is not fixed. Um, it's moving, but if we take this moment to be t is 0, so this position here, that would have to be 30. So that would be minus 30 plus 2t. And it's height, what do we say his height was? 5, 5, 5. So uh, the slope of this line will be 5 minus 0, 5 minus 0 over this minus this so that's plus 40 40 10 plus 2t so y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 and uh we want the y when x is 0, I guess. So y would be 5 times 40, 800, over 10 plus 2t. Um, so dy Let's think about this when t increases. Hmm, that doesn't quite seem right because. Oh, yeah, its height is dropping as t increases. Yeah, OK, so dy dt. Well, let me simplify this a little bit more. I can divide by two. So that'll be 400 times 5 plus t power minus 1. So dy dt will be minus 400, 5 plus t power minus 2. But when t is 0, um, that would be minus 400 over 25, which is minus 16 feet per second. Okay. Using the previous problem, what is the rate at which the shadow changes when the person is 10 feet from the wall if the person is walking away from the wall at 2 feet per second? Interesting. So the only difference is this plus becomes a 
minus, which means that becomes a minus, which means that becomes a minus, which means that becomes a minus, which means that becomes a minus. But I feel like I should have got my positive answer. Yes, because the derivative here is minus 1, so that becomes a plus, and that becomes a plus, so it'd be 16 feet per second. Ah! 4 over 9. 4 over 9. Okay, I must have made a silly arithmetic mistake. Let's double check my work. Right, a five foot tall person walks at a rate of two feet per second. A spotlight is located on the ground 40 feet from the wall. How fast does the height of the person shadow on the wall change when the person is 10 from the wall? So that's 30, that's 5, that's moving at 2. That's minus 40 times 0. And then this point here will be not minus 30. No, it is minus Oh, rats. It's minus 10. Oh, rats. So that's minus 10. So minus 10. Rats. Rats. Good thing we have the answers at the back. Okay. Minus 10 plus 2t minus minus 40. So that should have been 30 then. 30. 30. 30, uh, 15, um, 15, um, so that's 225 instead, which is 16 over 9, 16 over 9. No, four over nine. So still a little little mistake somewhere. Okay. That's minus ten plus two t. Five minus zero over minus ten plus two t minus minus forty. So that's thirty. Yeah. Y minus y one equals m times x minus x1 okay so and we put the x is zero okay that's okay that's right then we divide everything by two so that's 415 and one and then we bring down the power reduce the power by one okay and then 15 squared is 225, isn't it? Yeah. 400 divided by 225, 16 over 9. Okay. Okay, 16 over 9. But the answer should be 4 over 9. So... Um, Why do I have 400 there? That seems wrong. I... Yes, that is wrong. 5 times 40 is 200. Why did I say 800? That should have been 200. So that should have been 200. 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 Have been 200. So it's 200. 200 over 225. Uh, oh, but then we uh, divide it by 2, so that's 100. So that's 100. So that's 100. So 100 divided by 225 is 4 over 9. 4 over 9. 4 over 9. And now, thankfully, 
we are correct. Four over minus four over nine and plus four over nine grows. So it's a positive, yeah, and a negative here. Okay, right. Well, that was a bit of a tough one, but would have been better if I didn't make arithmetic mistakes. But there you go, it's done now. Hopefully everything is okay with these four, and we'll wrap it up there. Thank you.